Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video is going to be a different one So we are going to try this prep meal. It is not really like the the regular prep meal because this is the one of those that you have to cook they provide ingredients for you so you don't have to to go to the grocery stores and waste some of it you know like every time we cook we tend to waste some of the ingredients so for today's video I'm going to try hello fresh meal and I actually ordered two boxes and they delivered it today and I have four meals to cook. So for our dinner today, we are going to start with this recipe. So in the package, you are going to receive like this box here full of ingredients. Ingredients for different uh, menu or recipes separate from each other. And also the meat is going to be at the bottom. So you always have to check the box if you're going to order this. Sometimes they put like meat or small ingredients there at the bottom. It's usually covered with ice. All right guys, so we are going to start by opening this package here and all the ingredients are inside of this little bag. All right, and meat, like what I said, is separate. So this is the meat for this recipe, the sweet Italian chicken sausage. And uh, let's open this right now. So in the package you have this cheese, Parmesan cheese. And then you have this pasta and then you also have you're also gonna have a sour cream and one big onion and the tomato paste and the, what is this oh the chicken stock concentrated chicken stock and also you have the Tuscan heat pie. So the ingredients of this is garlic, basil, rosemary, red pepper, and oregano. So this is another ingredient. And also you have this zucchini. All right, so that's the ingredients for this recipe. To start, we have to prepare all the ingredients, cut all the ingredients, which I am not really happy about <laughs> because I was expecting that it's already cut and you just, you know it's ready to cook all right it's preheating now for 450 degrees and then it says here um, large pot of salted water to boil okay let's put water in here okay and you have to put like salt okay and then we are moving on to the zucchini i'm going to get my cutting board it's fresh and you have to trim and cut the zucchini half length Alright, so I already have the zucchini ready. This one's big. And now let's move on to the onion. So it is going to be the same. This is the big slice cut. Oh, the thin slice cut. Alright. Alright, so let's cut this in a thin slice. So now our onion is ready so the next step is roast the zucchini with a drizzle of oil one teaspoon of tuscan heat spice and pinch of salt and pepper you use the rest of tuscan heat um, spice later all right and let's drizzle some oil and then let's put two teaspoons of this to tuscan so now we are going to add pinch of salt and pepper then let's put this in our oven for 14 to 16 minutes. Also, okay guys, I did 15 minutes just to be in the middle. Okay, so now what we need to do right now is step number three. By the way, after that we have to cover it with foil to keep it warm. And then now let's move on to our pasta. Okay, our pot here is now ready. So let's put this halatapi. Well, correct me if my pronunciation is wrong, but this is the pasta. <laughs> and cook and stir occasionally until al dente. Okay, so that is for nine to 11 minutes. Then, reserve one half cup of pasta cooking water, then drain it. All right, so let's pop this in there for nine to 11 minutes. So I start around 6.15. I'm going to do the timer for the pasta for 11 minutes. Then now, after the pasta, so you have to cook the onion and the sausage. So, so I need another pan, an onion and a pinch of salt and pepper. 
cook stirring occasionally until softened. That is for five to six minutes. Let's do that. So let's put a pinch of salt and pepper. So okay guys, so I am a little bit, I don't want to say disappointed because I haven't, this is my first time trying this out. But I kind of like, um, what is my expectation is just that all the ingredients is ready cut because as a mom, I want to save time, you know, like if my resources is all ready, like it is a really a big help for me. But let's see, you know, like a lot of people are saying that um, Hello Fresh is really a good deal. It saves money. That's a big thing. It saves money because you're not going to waste all the ingredients. You have to use it all for that menu. Also, the important thing to me is also time, like how fast I can prepare this, how fast um, I can do this to feed my kids, you know, the family. That's why I love my Ninja Air Fryer slash indoor grill because that gives me like six minutes, I'm done. I have my meal ready. So yeah, so let's see. That's just my opinion. I'm not even there yet. I just, you know, started this video and I feel like this, but maybe later it will going to change how I feel. All right, so let's go back to the cooking. So you have to kind of mix this so it's not going to burn the onion. So after that, we are going to add this sweet sausage or Italian chicken sausage to um, the onion. All right. Going to wait until it turns like a little brownish. So it is really nice, you know, like really a good color to add more ingredients on it. Or I think for the beginner like me in this um, Hello Fresh thing, it is a little bit complicated, but maybe if you do this like often, like every other day or every day, you're gonna be like pro on this. By the way guys, like when you order this, you make sure that the delivery date you have to be in your house because there's meat there, so I mean, you know, it is safe to kind of like get it as soon as possible. Usually at 6 30 we're already done eating but I started cooking super late. That's why and I don't know we're gonna struggle later. Alright alarm dip and that is for my um pasta. So now guys we are going to add a tomato paste and the uh, remaining Tuscan heat spice. And we're going to cook that for one to two minutes, okay. Oven is beeping now. And that is our zucchini. And then add the remaining Tuscan. So after two minutes, we're going to add this the chicken stock concentrate and one cup reserved pasta cooking water. Okay, so now I'm adding this concentrated chicken stock and then one cup of this uh, pasta water. This is really looking delicious. So we have to put again one pinch of uh, salt and pepper. This is going to be cooked for two to three minutes. So let's just do the timer another two minutes. All right, and looking back here is now really looking gorgeous. Look at that red sauce, and the timer is off, so that means it's ready. Okay, I'm going to turn that off and put that right here so it will not overcook. All right, guys, so the next step is we're almost done. <laughs> okay, finished and served. So what we have to do is to sear drain the pasta, roasted zucchini, sour cream, and one tablespoon of butter, which we all have it in here, into a pan until thoroughly combined. So there is a tip. If you needed sear in more reserved cooking water, a splash at the time until pasta is coated with sauce or in sauce. So divide the pasta between bowls and sprinkler with parmesan and syrup. So let's do that right now. So here is our uh, zucchini and I'm going to mix that in here. Whoa. All right, so what's next? You have to 
mix it together and then put the pasta over it and then mix it again until it covered with sauce this is a big serving it's actually like good serving for uh, for four including your kids if your kids eat fast you know and uh, the order that i did is only for two servings and this is actually like if you divide it this is for four you have to put also the sour cream okay so i am missing one ingredient which is the butter <laughs> i don't have it which i mean i'm fine with it because our cholesterol is a little bit above normal hello fresh i'm missing one ingredient so without butter this is how it looks okay just have to mix it thoroughly and then the cheese is going to be later okay so our food is ready and uh, look at that it looks really delicious and beautiful so i started at 6 15 and i ended the cooking at 6.45 so that is like 30 minutes of cooking which is not really bad like at first I'm kind of like struggling like oh my god this is a lot of ingredients I have to cut I have to do this I have to do that but boom it's only like 30 minutes actually it's kind of like um if you are amateur in this if you don't know what you're doing it's you just started and you feel like overwhelmed you know that's how I feel I feel like overwhelmed but honestly speaking like it is really pretty simple when you follow the instruction and uh, yeah I think it's really delicious we'll see later what my husband is going to say and the only thing is that I have a lot of dishes which I hate that like I don't like dishes so let's see in our next meal for tomorrow if it's going to be the same so let's serve this food and eat all right all right guys so now the food is served, but we have to put this cheese on top. So look at that, I have four plates here in front of me. I ordered the food in HelloFresh and they're out only for two servings because the plan is for my husband and just for me and the kids, I just cook their meal. But then the serving of this meal that I made today, that I cooked today is actually for four. It's a lot, a lot of food. So that is a good sign. All right. So is this a picture here? Pictures. What it's supposed to be? Mm-hmm. Looks pretty cool. It actually looks like it. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this recipe for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm -hmm. All right. Open it up. Yeah. Open. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I know you like that. You like it? Okay, I feel like I just went in a restaurant. <laughs> it looks really good. It is really good, guys. The recipe is amazing. I mean, it is not as creamy as like you feel like unhealthy eating. And um, I mean, the tomato paste, the ingredients, it's just perfect. I like the taste that is not like like as if like we're eating unhealthy food like lasagna or those uh, baked spaghetti, you know. But this is really, really... It's not very hard. overwhelming to do that, cheese. Alright guys, so we are done now with our dinner and it's really delicious. I do recommend this recipe from uh, uh, HelloFresh. And this is really delicious meal. This is really good meal. And um, it is not only good for two servings. I mean, this is really for four servings. So this is our first try and our first meal from HelloFresh. And I'm really excited to do the second meal for tomorrow. I have, I think, four more meals there. I do recommend this uh, menu here or this recipe here. I hope you will try. And uh, you guys try this one and this is really delicious recipe. Okay, so that's it for today's video and hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button below if you end up liking it. Okay, and I will see you guys in my next video which is another Hello Fresh meal. We are going to try this recipes and it's going to be like back-to-back -back video of their recipes so i'm really excited to do this all right all right guys see you next time and please stay safe and god bless you all bye